Man, I know I said that the Diddy stuff is a distraction. It really is because it's something that's going on for real that we need to be paying attention to for real. But, man, that don't void what he got going on and the stuff that he did. And poor, poor Justin, man. Justin Bieber, boy, it seemed like you might have got the worst of a lot of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he always looked off to me, though. But here go a video, man. Uh, Justin Bieber. I, I seen a little bit of it in the first little clip, kind of. I was like, whoa, I never even seen that before. So let's just watch it together, man. And when I came in the room, I seen Puffy busting. He was getting it in. Justin is at Diddy's parties. Diddy made Justin sleep with Jennifer. You have beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you, lips. Thank you. I'm not going to show it out of just respect for the fact that I truly believe that Justin Bieber is a victim. Justin Bieber is getting yacked out of his mind. Huh? He's not even 18 at the time. They get all these videos and J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that. So who was with you this weekend? Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. Oh, this party? Oh, didn't have the people that were... Again. The Kardashians Damn, are mixed up in this. It's hard to say which is more off the hook. A Diddy party or a Diddy after party or a Diddy after after party. This is funny how they were saying this stuff back then, right? No one was going on. You saying this stuff or a Diddy party or Diddy after party or after after party. Like, you know exactly what's going on at each one of them parties, man. Man, wow, wow, wow. About my party, they're gonna be shutting them down. They're gonna probably be arresting me. Oh, what did he say? Justin J. Or Diddy after party. Or Diddy after after party. You're gonna hear about my party, they're gonna be shutting them down. They're gonna probably be arresting me. There's new Diddy party videos. Like, now, why would you say something like that? You know what I'm saying? This is back then, so everybody comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Why would you say they're gonna be arresting you? You know what I'm saying? Why would they be? Why? 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 J-Lo, Chris Brown, and I'll get to all that. An alleged tape involving an 18-year-old pop star. Jennifer Lopez should definitely be charged. We know Justin and J-Lo have been to Diddy parties together and been going for a long time since the beginning. Unfortunately, we know Justin has been a and took an advantage of in many situations allegedly at these parties. It has long been suspected like that him, the bro. person that Diddy had under his thumb was Justin Bieber. Did Bieber get you and Deline or did you get Bieber and Deline? It was bad. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. I was Sean Kingston? I was doing long shrooms. And Trey's like literally sitting there playing Lookout. Yo, this playing video lookout right here. Is Justin Bieber. Yo, this video right here. This was the first time I seen Justin, Justin in the compromiser position. Boy, this video, I just... <sighs> All three of you niggas, man. All three of y'all. Her goal was down on Odell. That, that Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's oh groin God. in the club. But whatever he is Why doing in this song video with Trey Songs that? and Odell Beckham Jr. looks highly suspicious. Justin Bieber is not sober. He is, is clearly very heavily under the influence at this party. I think that there were times where I was really, really like really like man this is this pain ever gonna go away i was waking up in the morning and the first thing i was doing is popping pills and smoking a and starting my day after diddy introduced him to this lifestyle justin bieber couldn't stop and there's many celebrities that went out with him and saw him out of control justin man. bieber in cans i was walking him down to our party on our boat he had like all the paparazzi it was the first time i'd, I'd really like seen that up close and i, I gave him a and got him laid. Oh, I just, I mean, there was a chick there that I had banged and I told her to bang him. I don't know. I think it was something like that. I let him use my room. There's <laughs> nothing really that crazy. It's also being alleged that Kim K. Just, it's, just, it's just that easy for him. You know what I'm saying? That, like, sex is, sex is really, it's everything to him, but it's really nothing to him at the same time. They just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, there's nothing there with it other than just to, you know, ah, oh, man, it's, or suspicion for being in these tapes and these parties and we don't know how deep it goes but they had a weird thing with justin bieber too well i met him at the white house correspondence dinner and um i guess he had said in an interview that you know he had a crush on me and so i was kind of flirting back and said oh he's adorable kim kardashian's sister you into armenian girls he was flirting back with a kid all right um well i mean i don't know she's she actually said or Kim said, I think Justin Bieber should date my sister. We took a picture together. He Twittered it and said, me and my girlfriend, Kim, everyone thought he was being serious. And Kim, tell me about your photo shoot with Justin. Oh my God, it was so much fun. How old is Justin? 
16. Does he have a crush on you? Do you have a crush on you? <laughs> is this a joke? Why they love their prey? Like, Hollywood is so weird. Look how easily they, they, this is on a TV show. You're talking about having a crush on a 16-year-old as a grown-ass woman. And, and like, nobody found this shit weird. Now, I don't know why. I've never seen this. Nobody found this shit weird. So, yeah. Justin Bieber didn't do that to himself. I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff in my past, and I wasn't able to move on. Justin Bieber is in need right now, who has been out of the industry. But Diddy taught him well, right? There's rumors that are circulating around Atlanta and all around the music world that Bieber may have been by Usher in the same way that Usher has been violated by Diddy. And as a direct result of this alleged violation taking place, I've been told that it has compromised the mental health of Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber sang along with Jennifer Lopez as she kicked off her three-year residency in Las Vegas. These J-Lo tapes allegedly contain her with young pop stars and supposedly Homeland Security told Ben Affleck about this and that's why they divorced. That'd be crazy if that's the reason why they divorced. We don't know for real, but that'd be wild. Yeah, gave that crazy call of being that like, there's a white man who got respect in the white world. Of course, you would say, we want to show you some things. Because it brought your wife. And he sees this shit that her and Puffy was doing and who they was doing it with, I'm quite sure. They gave his ass those tapes. Diddy has freak off tapes of J-Lo because she will not my thing is y'all get these tapes like if let's just say you did see it none of y'all got the heart to bring this forward when people fondling and messing with kids and stuff nobody has the heart to bring this forward all of y'all are terrible man all of y'all are terrible bro if you knew about it you're seeing it you're terrible man anything in public against him and she's worried about these tapes coming out we know Diddy has a temper because he would force J-Lo to be at the freak off parties and he even got insulted one time when Will Smith and Jada wanted to hook up with J-Lo but not with Diddy. After that, we never saw Will Smith and Diddy hanging out again. When you were dating J-Lo, Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a f***ing and you were going to beat up Will Smith. Is that true? true? You, you really heard that? We were at a birthday party. It was at the Four Seasons. Will Smith and his sister and her husband, we were all sitting on this side of the room. Matt Damien, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, Puff, Will Smith, and uh, Jada, and they were sitting on the other side of the room. Just the he bodyguard, stood up. Gene. When he stood up, he walked and like, and did his own some, some kind of way, like, so I go towards him. And he said to me, he said, yo, I think Will and Jada is trying to scoop up Jennifer. I want you to stay close, cause I'm a snuffer. I said to myself, Will Smith gonna be the snatch. <laughs> Once J-Lo realized that Diddy only wanted to party, go out and have freak offs, she no longer wanted to continue the relationship because she stayed with him even after the shooting in 1999. But at this point, Diddy has so much on her that she has not said nothing bad about him really in 20 years. What time do you stay up till? I stay up till like maybe six, six in the morning. I'm back up at like 10, 30, 11. Six in the morning? What do you do every night till six in the morning? You don't go to clubs every night. No, I mean, I, I mean, I make love a lot. I told you when I came on the show, I was going to be completely honest and expose myself to the world. Um, we had right, this kind of crazy, yourself, tumultuous like... relationship. And then, I mean, and he did. Then, I, like, you know what's crazy? He did. He did. You know, <laughs> he actually did, though. Like, going back and looking at this stuff, though, because he was moving too, he was just moving too comfortable, man. And people that got power, they get complacent, you know what I'm saying? And especially if you... This color, man, I'm just going to say it, man. You you can't never get that that complacent with this, you know what I'm saying? Or or think you your shit don't stink or or they won't come take that right from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so you did tell on yourself, though. You, you that's, that's a fact. You did expose yourself, though. It just wasn't right at the at, at the time. <laughs> Let's say and uh, yeah, I just kind of hit the wall and it's just like I can't do this anymore. I could always see you getting back with Puffy in a little way. <laughs> Or in my mind, look at it. Is this the one you were talking about who just cheated on you and treated you horribly and you just stuck it through? Just we just didn't have the same kind of ideals about life and family and stuff like that. And I had to learn um, to care about myself a little bit more and put up certain boundaries of what I would accept and wouldn't accept. All this comes back around to a book that has just released 
memoirs of Kim Porter written by somebody who didn't know her. A lot of people say the book is fake, but that- yeah, I, I, tell me what y'all think about that book though. I'm not sure about that book. I ain't even looked into it. I just know it was a white man who named the dude Jamal, who supposedly wrote the book, like wrote the book. Kind of seemed like he tried to use a black name to get some traction. You know what I'm saying? Get people to buy the book. I don't, I don't know. Change the fact that after Kim passed, many people said she was already writing a book, and this was years ago, that. where she does say and mention certain things that they're also mentioned in this book. Personally, I wanted to get involved because I'm not a part of hip hop directly. I'm not a rapper, obviously, or anything like that, but I've been in the business and been around the business. So to kind of see what these guys have done and how they've taken you know, rap past, you know, music, it's become a phenomenon, it's a culture, it's a, you know, so it's just for me, I wanted to present something beautiful and package it. So I wrote this book and I attached it to him. So it seemed like everybody who was going to make a tell all story, something happened to them. Andre was writing a book mm. right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And Alvy Shore was working on the documentary yeah, of his died. life. And then he goes into a... Already know. He'll probably told all that book you understand that up and got missing the day she died now according to kim stylist she was writing a book where she specifically mentions that diddy and clive davis had multiple encounters and kim also told her that she had video footage oh of diddy and I, usher hooking I, I, and up and when he was young too, remember bro. diddy always had cameras in his houses so this would make sense this is all alleged but here's the email that the stylist wrote to another youtuber i met with blank this past sunday evening and she showed me the rough drafts that kim sent her when looking over the details of Kim and Diddy's relationship that will be exposed in the book, it will absolutely blow your mind. Also, some of the things in the book cover Diddy's key relationships, footage of those encounters, the men he slept with, Diddy giving Usher an STD. Now, crazy enough, Usher got sued by- Look, I seen Mary J. Bly's name in there too. I don't know what she didn't did, but she was around too, bruh. You know what I'm saying? That she was doing some, this rumors that she was doing some stuff too. And I just find it very, very coincidental that sorry if I sport it for y'all, but she just died on power right when this stuff just come about. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just found it real coincidental. She just died last week. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, or this, or just a couple days ago. I'm just saying, just saying. Three different people for him giving them herpes. Documents have been filed in the whoa, Usher or whoa. General Herpes lawsuit. Center. Oh, when looking over the details of Kim and Diddy's relationship, that will be relationships, footage of those encounters, the men he slept with, Diddy giving Usher an STD. Now, crazy enough, Usher got sued by three different people for him giving them herpes. Documents have been filed in the Usher or genital herpes lawsuit. Now, if the rumors are true that Usher and Diddy hooked up when they were young, then it shouldn't surprise you that Diddy was also sued for transmitting herpes to a man. And this man actually won the judgment. She you know, show calls of that. Yeah. And I'll be the, I was like a slave. Hey, I've seen this interview. I... Sean, uh, he would mess up. I thought I wanted to do for Cassie. I had like 15 encounters. I caught Derby. And I came back and I seen him for and war. Also, how she would use a horn to please Diddy and how she would hysterically cry alone after doing so. How she protected Albie Shore from running into Diddy and would call him to warn him not to like, show up to certain places to avoid so trouble. Freaky, that Diddy had bruh. something to do. Uh, he was getting pegged his damn self, bruh. He was doing all type of shit, bruh. Goodness gracious, G. What the oh my gosh, bruh. Y'all highly fucking weird, man. With the death of his ex-partner and the mother to his children, a woman named Kim Porter. Now, what happened was she mysteriously died of pneumonia at the age of 47. Kim died from pneumonia. They have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. Now, not to get into any conspiracy theories, but after Kim passed, the person who did her autopsy and confirmed that it was pneumonia, he also passed away. Click here. Wow, I did not know that. No, I think that's the end of the video. I didn't know that. What? Yo, I mean, like, how many, how many people gotta die around somebody for you to know? Like, it, it, it's this got something to do with this man. I mean, all the way back to Tupac, Biggie. I mean, everybody, bro, that then died or, or went to jail behind this man. Like, I just wanted to watch that door with y'all, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that in the comments, man. Make sure you stay safe, stay easy, stay protected, get the folk out your circle that ain't supposed to be there. Easier said than done, but it's definitely doable. So do it. I'm out.